Hi, oh, hello. So how does time and how we perceive our changes in perception, how is it distorted when we have suffered trauma? This is a big subject and a massive big topic of conversation at the moment. So think about being at a beach early morning and you're there to see the sunrise. So while you're there, you're looking at your watch, you know the sun's not there yet, but then you see the waves and you feel the breeze on your face and the warmth and the and and the 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 um, sand on your feet and you get lost in the moment and oh my goodness suddenly the sun's risen and you've lost out you're like oh no I missed the sunrise, but in the same in the same example think about being stranded on that beach and not knowing where to go or where to turn and being totally alone and waiting to be rescued, for example. How long will time feel then? So basically, time is a major cause for concern when we've suffered trauma. So for some people who feel stuck, their perception of time during trauma can be very slowed down, can be very scary, or it can be really quickened. And there's quite a lot of science behind why this happens. So our time perception actually refers to our sense and experience of how our time passes when we have been triggered. Now, when we've been triggered, we become activated. So we start to react, our body reacts. So this is actually a very complex psychological phenomena and it's influenced by many, many factors. The three most important factors to consider if you are experiencing time either speeding up or slowing down or staying still when you've been activated, when you've been triggered. Remember, we work in root cause. We always work through the root cause. The three factors to consider is what is your attention on? What are the emotions that you're going through at that time in that specific activation? and trigger point, and what is the context of the events. Now, they could all be different, and most people just recognize that they are generally triggered or generally activated, but that's not true. We have to drill down to what your experience is like, and then we can start to fix it. So, when you've had a traumatic experience, it dramatically alters your individual perception of time both during the traumatic event and also it has a long-term aftermath. So even after um, the event is over, we can still feel aroused, hyper-focused. Um, we, we shut down and go into survival mode. So we almost enhance the resolution of the memory and, and the perception um, and time seems to stretch out. Furthermore, the impact of having these events is that time can continue to be distorted. The perception of time continues, and in particular, if you've got PTSD. So if you do have PTSD, um, you may start to then relive the experiences, the flashbacks and the nightmares. And that's where time becomes even more disjointed for you and unpredictable. So you may feel that you are already... Maybe in this mode, you were already experiencing it. This is a very, very difficult thing to deal with when you are suffering from trauma. Now, how does the brain respond? What's the brain's role here? Well, actually, there's several key factors that influence our process and perception of time. First of all, the amygdala, they're right here. That is the brain's alarm system. And it plays a critical role in our emotional responses. And what it does is when the amygdala is activated, it heightens our state of alertness and it sharpens um, our focus on potential threats. So we become hypervigilant. This does not help our recovery. And then our prefrontal cortex in the front, that is our senses. It sees our world. Now, it's responsible for our decision making, for our social behavior, and it plays a major significant role in how we perceive time during a stressful event. Under normal circumstances, it can help us plan stuff. It can help us anticipate events. But when it is activated, 
it will um it creates a perception of time that is unreal okay and then our prefrontal cortex too will lead uh, when it's under such severe pressure it leads to us not being able to process it um it disrupts our sense of time so every single person's individual experience is different and sometimes it's really hard to sequence events logically so that's why you feel that sometimes time is looped or it could be fragmented and that's because we just struggle to maintain any form of order and real coherence generally your symptoms are going to be fight flight or freeze and we react differently in all of those situations now if you're interested to know more if this is you if i was describing how you operate on a daily basis then please get in touch you'll notice if you haven't yet that we have a fantastic new we've been working on this for four months now we have a new um uh, process that you can follow you can book a consultation with me we provide a high level amount of information for you and then we can see if you are um are the right kind of person for our program which is the trauma recovery method so have a fantastic day i hope that this has been useful and i'll see you next week bye